The need for permanent resident housing is so dire in Sebastopol right now. City officials are working to ban vacation rental properties altogether. KPI X 5s John Ramos reports that the city doesn't feel it has a single house to spare. Real estate in wine country towns like Sebastopol was already pricey, but when the fires struck and thousands of people were suddenly desperate for a place to live, they moved into a full-blown crisis. Home rental prices went nuts, driving up the cost of all housing, and it remains high today, making it nearly impossible for young people to stay in their own hometown. You know, they want to live and experience and work and like make their life here, and if if it's very expensive, then they don't have the opportunity to do that. But in a small town, it's hard to ramp up construction to meet that kind of demand. We produce about a dozen more units every year, uh, but that means that every unit we have is precious in terms of housing stock, especially in this current climate. So City Hall wants to put a moratorium on people buying investment homes and using them as vacation rentals. Somebody can come in with megabucks and buy a place and uh, rent it out for profit and uh, at, the, at the expense of young people being able to find a place to live. The town does benefit from tourist dollars and people could still rent out a room or two to someone if they want to. The ban would only apply to so-called no-host rental units where there isn't a permanent resident living on site. But local realtor Randy Kaufman says prices in Sebastopol will remain high as long as there is so little new construction. A moratorium might help in the short term, but we really look, need to look at the long term effects of creating some infill projects that create some affordable rentals. He wishes the city would expand its borders to capture more open land so more resident housing could be built. But for now, the city just wants to preserve what it already has. Preserving that existing housing stock isn't just making sure it's not demolished, but really making sure it's here for long term residents uh, and not, you know, vacation rentals in neighborhoods. Now that some people have rebuilt and moved back to Santa Rosa, prices have softened up a little bit, but the city still feels it doesn't have a single house to spare for those who want to live here. In Sebastopol, John Ramos, KPIX5.